Good morning everyone. That was a really weird entrance. Um, good morning. Today is the start of vlog number two because it is the second week in London here and as I said I was going to be vlogging what's going on. So today in this vlog, as I mentioned possibly in my last vlog, this is going to be kind of themed or focused around like confidence and stuff because this week, sorry I've got a hay fever because uh, this week is kind of a scary week for me because this week I am going to two YouTube kind of events and I'm absolutely shitting myself like I'm actually so scared so I thought I'd focus this video around confidence I actually haven't really been to any before purely because of two reasons reason one actually no three reasons reason one living in edinburgh it's really hard to make your way down to london you know like during the week just like that because it's like a full day journey reason two being a student and a lot of the time i'm working as well so that kind of commitment i don't have the most flexibility nor can i really commit to saying yes i can definitely be there and then reason three which is probably the biggest one is the fact that i actually I'm so terrified to go but the reason why I've said yes to both of these two is because I am in London and I'm not studying right now so really the only thing holding me back is my confidence so I'm determined to try and push through that so I am yeah like honestly I'm so scared I don't know anyone I feel like I've just dived straight into the deep end and I'm actually terrified if you haven't already noticed so I'm going to a Bondi Sands event tonight which is, if you don't know, it's like a fake tan brand. They're doing a new launch. So that is this evening. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. And then on Sunday, I have got like a hair sort of appointment style thing going on. I'll talk to you guys about that later on. But essentially today, I'm going to an event with nobody that I know. I'll talk to you throughout, hopefully, or I'll be able to talk about it and what happened and just let you guys know how it went and let you guys know how I tried my best to kind of like push through my like shyness, I don't want to call it anxiety, but just you know like social really awkwardness. I'm going to work right now and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm on my way to the event. So I've just got ready at work, I'm done, I'm wearing this bandeau from Fashion Nova, belt from H&M and these trousers which are from Fashion Nova, bandeau's from Zaffel actually. I've done my makeup at work so it's very DIY. I've done my hair at work. I tried to curl it but I curled it with straighteners so it's a bit of a disaster. But um, this is the current look which I'm going for. Considering it took me 20 minutes to do, I'm pretty impressed. So I'm now just gonna head over to the venue and see what it looks like. I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm finally here. I'm from with me. the event right now so I'm gonna talk to you guys after I've taken my makeup off because look it's like down my fingers <laughs> I currently have my makeup smudged all the way down my face and I've apparently lost my voice anyway so it is actually not that late because the event started at like 7 so it's like 1 in the morning right now it's not that late the event went really really well I had a really good time there was some really nice people there I met one girl who is called Simone. She is lovely. I followed her on Instagram for like the last two years. Essentially, she's somebody from Edinburgh like me. She's moved to London to work as a model and I just admire her lifestyle and everything that she does. So it was really lovely to meet her. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my makeup off right now because clearly, it needs to come off. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm really proud of myself for going. So yeah, right, okay. This is getting extreme right now. We're really getting Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my vlog. I think the last time I left you I was at um where was I? Oh I was at the Bondi Sands party, so it's now Saturday. I am currently at Burr Market, which is a market really close to where I live. So we're here to get food. I'm gonna get like a really nice like salady bowl I'm thinking, which looks so so good. And then I'll maybe get some strawberries or some fruit or some prosecco. 
Mexico, but I've also seen Sangria, which looks 10 out of 10. So I will show you guys around. It looks amazing. Look how cool it is. It's crazy busy, so I'll talk to you guys later. for an eating mess one which looks like the best one in my opinion and they're like three pounds each but I think they're gonna be worth it because they look insane. Oh, oh my gosh. Too good. Okay. Hey we have come to a bar it's Saturday night that keeps focusing on the background instead of me. This is such a cool place and come to like a speakeasy. It's just underneath a brunch place so I need to come here for brunch as well. But look at how cool it is. Say it kind of reminds us of like stranger things with all the lights hanging around so hey everyone it is sunday right now it is the last day of this vlog please excuse the fact that i have no makeup on i will explain why later on as i mentioned earlier on this vlog was meant to be kind of centered around building my confidence and me talking about confidence and that sort of stuff so today being sunday my final day i'm doing something which is certainly outside of my comfort zone and i'm certainly very nervous about especially the fact that they've asked me to come without makeup on which is very nervous especially when you're meeting people for the first time first impression i like to have you know a layer of confidence on i.e makeup so Today I am going to, I don't want to call it an event, but essentially it is um, a day where they're going to do my hair, they're going to take some photos of it, they're basically going to use what they like take and like videos and stuff they do today for their like publicity. So I'm getting my hair done for free out of it. But alongside that I'm going to be meeting a lot of new people, a lot of other influencers apparently are coming along. I don't know who they are. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going with anybody who I know at all. So going on my own, going with no makeup, you know, a little bit nervous right now. Just making some like porridge, some breakfast right now. And then I'm going to head to the salon and we'll see how today goes. <laughs> Blonder. My makeup's coming off though, so I'm gonna have to get that redone. But I will show you in better light when I stand up and move around. But oh my god, my makeup is totally coming off already. So they use this stuff in my hair, and they also bunch of this stuff as well, which is to make your hair look a little bit more windswept and cool. Also keeps your hair in place as well, so it doesn't look so frizzy, which is cool. My makeup has been redone. She's gone for a little bit more dramatic. My hair is straight and take some photos now with me so we'll see how they turn out there'll be a lot of like stuff on their instagram and their instagram story and facebook so you can check out there if you want to see some photos if not i'll probably have some on my instagram as well Really, really interesting. Um, as I'm a marketing um, aholic, it's really interesting talking to people like that. And obviously, I got my hair done, which is amazing. So I'm now heading to meet my boyfriend, who's just arrived in London. He's here to work as well this summer. So I'm heading to meet him. I've not seen him in just over two weeks, so I'm really excited to finally see him. 
and we are going to Shoreditch for a meal. We're going to Dirty Bones, which was actually um, suggested by somebody on my Instagram. So thank you to the girl who sent me a message and suggested that place because we're gonna head there right now. Hey everyone, excuse the noise. I'm just gonna close my window so you can hear me a little bit better. So tonight, oh my God, my hair. So tonight I'm going to another event. I'm not gonna vlog the event because I'm actually gonna finish up this Beats video right now and have a final little chat with you guys. So this week I was focusing on my kind of confidence, going outside my comfort zone, pushing myself in terms of like social kind of situations. So I thought I would just sit down and finish up this vlog by talking to you about what I kind of learned over this week. Obviously one week, two events, nothing's gonna change crazily but I want to talk about confidence in general anyway with you and just give you guys some tips which I followed through with this week and that I find helpful and if you guys are struggling with maybe going outside your comfort zone, maybe you're starting uni in September or you're going back to school, starting high school, starting a new school, I don't know but I'm gonna just give you some tips, some quick tips. I have done videos on confidence in the past so you can check them out but specifically for this week I just wanted to let you guys know what my thoughts and feelings were. So the first thing which I want to talk about and something which I did do is if you're going somewhere that you're a little bit outside of your comfort zone and you're not feeling you know, completely there, is take a friend. When you're watching this vlog, for me it was like five days ago now, but when you're watching the vlog, you probably realized at the start of the Thursday of the Bondi Sands event, I was talking about how I was gonna go alone and how I was really nervous and how it just seemed really, really daunting. And then you probably realized that when I actually went to the event, I ended up with a friend and maybe that was a bit confusing, but essentially, at like four o'clock while I was at work, I texted my friend who lives in London. I said, you know what, can you come with me? If I'm allowed a plus one, then brilliant. If I'm not allowed a plus one, then you know what? I'm so terrified right now, I probably won't go in on my own. So tip one, take a friend with you. It helps so much. Talking in a pair, meeting somebody new, you know, three's a crowd, really makes a difference. Talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody and you're a little bit nervous, things can, you know, get a little bit awkward if you're not that confident. So if you've got a three going on and you're with somebody who you're comfortable with, i.e. your friend, then you feel so much better. My second tip which I used and I wouldn't say rely on this too much but definitely a tip is just keep small familiarities with you when you're out your comfort zone. Don't dive straight in with all new things so that could be wear an outfit that you're really comfortable in and you've worn before and you know you look good in or take your phone with you or something and every now and again check your Instagram or have somebody talking to you on your WhatsApp or whatever so some sort of like familiar friend that you're just every now and again checking in with they're seeing how you're doing that sort of thing or it can be down to like the conversations you have with people so for me obviously makeup is something that I'm very familiar with and I very much enjoy so when I was at the Bondi Sands event I was speaking with people who work for companies like Superdrug and Boots and talking about makeup, talking about like fake tan and things. I know that sort of stuff, I'm interested in that. So that sort of familiarity makes the conversation a lot more enjoyable and easy and less just of a panic. So keeping familiar things, you know? I love dogs, so if the person I'm talking to happens to love dogs, then I instantly feel 10 times better around them because I feel like we're on the same level with something. Finding familiarities, whether that's in physical things, things you talk about, that sort of stuff, then definitely try that one out. Tip number three is something that I did on my way to the Redken um, salon shoot and that was listening to music when I was on my way there. So on the tube journey there, I had some really good songs that made me feel really happy, really positive and that got me going in terms of my confidence and feeling good about myself and less stressed. So definitely put on a good playlist on your way there to make yourself feel a little bit better and positive and ready to go. Also tip number four is take yourself through what's actually going to happen. So a lot of the time that kind of daunting aspect of walking into a room and you're just like, oh my goodness, you don't actually think specifics of what could go wrong. But for some reason, the whole idea is crazy overwhelming. So actually take yourself through it step by step. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna walk in. 
I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to get myself a drink. I'm going to walk in. I'm going to find a seat. There probably will be somebody sitting next to me. I'll just say hi, I'll introduce myself. You know what I mean? Like, take yourself through the day and take yourself through like the event or whatever's going on and just really think, what could go wrong? And could anything actually go wrong? Because the chances are it's not that bad, it's just you've not really thoroughly thought through what's gonna happen and you're just a bit overwhelmed by the whole situation. So that's my fourth tip. And then my fifth tip is pretty, just like an overall generic one, is say yes. You're never going to improve your confidence if you say no to things. Like, if you never go, you're never gonna improve. It's just like, if you never practice, you know, tennis, you're never gonna get good at tennis. So if you never go outside your comfort zone, then you're never gonna be able to do it. So just say yes. If it goes terrible the first time, doesn't matter. You've got the first time out of the way. And then just continue getting better and better. And you know what? It might take you a little bit longer or you might feel like you're getting knocked back every now and again, but always say yes. Just keep pushing yourself little by little. Have a look at my other videos for like confidence and that sort of thing. And if you want to give me a message on Instagram as well, I'm very happy to talk to you. And if you want me to do a longer video on this, then I totally can. But I hope that my video was helpful. As I said just a minute ago, just push yourself. Do as much as you can. It's not going to harm you. So I'm just going to continue getting ready right now. I still need to do eyelashes and need to change. But I'm actually going to finish up this vlog and say thank you guys for watching this week. I hope that this video and this theme of confidence was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching me challenge myself. Love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye!